Hello and welcome to Iden Nerd. In today's video, let's look at brief profile of J.J. Rawling and his leadership qualities. Rawlings was the son of a Scottish father and a Ghanaian mother. He was educated at Achimoto College and the Military Academy at Teshi. He was commissioned a second lieutenant in the Ghanaian Air Force in 1969 and became a flight lieutenant and expert pilot, skilled in aerobatics. In June 1979 Rawlings and other junior officers led a successful military coup with the purported aim of purging the military and public life of widespread corruption. He and his armed forces Revolutionary Council ruled for 112 days, during which time the former heads of state, General Ignatius Kutue Kimpung and Lt. General Frederick W. K. Akufo, were tried and executed. Rawlings then yielded power to a freely elected civilian president, Hilla Lyman, who promptly retired Rawlings from the Air Force. Rawlings continued to be a popular figure, however, and on December 31, 1981, after two years of weak civilian rule during which Ghana's economy continued to deteriorate, Rawlings overthrew Lyman's government, accusing it of leading the nation down to total economic ruin. Rawlings established a provisional National Defense Council as the new government and imprisoned Lyman and some 200 other politicians. People's defense committees were set up in neighborhoods, as were workers' councils to monitor production in factories. When the failure of these and other populist measures had become clear by 1983, Rawlings reversed course and adopted conservative economic policies, including dropping subsidies and price controls in order to reduce inflation, privatizing many state-owned companies, and devaluing the currency in order to stimulate exports. These free market measures sharply revived Ghana's economy, which by the early 1990s had one of the highest growth rates in Africa. In 1992, in the first presidential elections held in Ghana since 1979, Rawlings was chosen as president. He was re-elected in 1996 and stepped down from the presidency in early 2001. J.J. Rawlings is one president Ghanaians will never forget because he was not just a leader but a servant. Rawlings married to Nana Kanadu Achiaman, who he met while at Achimota College. They have three daughters, Zanita Rawlings, Yagasantwa Rawlings, Amina Rawlings, and one son, Kamathi Rawlings.
during our short stay in, our, in power, have demonstrated openly what many people had only suspected before. Namely, that the holding of office in government in this country had in almost all cases been used to plunder the wealth of the nation. Gunnar is looking up to you. Thank you.